Hi, my name's Alexis, and here's a little bit about me. I'm 19 years old and I'm obsessed with fashion. I was born and raised on the streets of New York City and am as close as it gets to being an expert in all things New York. I also think that my personal style reflects the city too. So last week, I decided to just go on a spontaneous trip to Zara. Sometimes a little shopping trip is exactly what we need just to relax and get back into the groove of things. So as I was browsing the racks, I stumbled upon this faux leather trench coat and obviously I had no self-control, so I had to try it on. And it was definitely a Cinderella moment for me because this jacket felt like it was made for me. All of a sudden, the wheels in my brain just started turning as they tend to do, an idea popped into my head. Basically, the idea was that I would challenge myself to wear this jacket and style it differently every single day for a week. As soon as I came up with that idea, I checked out and I hopped on the subway to go home and begin outfit planning. I am so beyond excited because today is the first day that I actually get to wear my trench coat out and about in the world in public. I have super fun plans today. I'm meeting one of my friends downtown at the restaurant Bubby's. It is so good. If you haven't been there, you have to go, especially for brunch. The restaurant has a casual vibe, so I don't want to wear anything too fancy. I think I'm going to start off with a pair of mom jeans as a base because that's one of my wardrobe essentials. So I'm going to put those on and then I'm going to figure out my top and shoes and accessories. Got my jeans on and I'm officially ready to start looking for a top now. I think I'm going to wear a sweater because it's almost 50 degrees so it's not terribly cold but I still want to make sure I'm warm because my jacket is not too heavy. The dilemma of the day that we're facing is do we want to wear color or more of a neutral tone? It is winter, it just transitioned from fall so the neutral crisp clean air is still very prevalent in New York City. You know what, I think I'm going to stick to my gut and wear a neutral tone so I'm going to see what neutral sweaters I have that I can wear. Ding ding, we have a winner. I am obsessed with the sweater from Nasty Gal. I love the color because it's such a great contrast between the black jacket with the blue jeans and it's the perfect weight for this weather. I just threw on my leather jacket and a small shoulder pocketbook and a pair of matching sneakers and headed right out the door. Bubby's is honestly just one of my favorite spots in New York. I have to say, I think my outfit perfectly captured the aesthetic of the restaurant. My favorite part of my outfit though would have to be my sneakers because they're this really cool brand that cuts out vintage bags and they sew them into Air Force Ones. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to tell you, there's this ice cream parlor called Ample Hills that's connected to the restaurant. Tonight, I decided to meet up with a friend and grab dinner at one of my favorite spots, Jack's Wife Frida. I decided to wear the trench with a black sweater and plaid pants just to add some texture. I wore my black pad and croc boots and accessorized with a matching mini pad and bag. This restaurant is such a staple of my dinner places that I go with friends in New York. It's a really good price and the food is good and you're also in such a central location in Soho. And if you sit outside in the winter, there's heaters above you too. It's day three of styling this trench coat and today I have really exciting plans. I'm going downtown, I'm going shopping with my little sister. I love spending time with her and going downtown and shopping and picking out outfits for her. We always have so much fun when we're together. So I think today is gonna be awesome. I got really excited so I already just picked out the base of my outfit. I'm wearing this chunky white sweater that I ordered off of Revolve and a pair of black jeans. Chunky sweaters are always my go-to when I'm going shopping because you could just slip them on and off and you don't have to worry about anything getting caught in each other. I have to say that styling these trench coats so far has been so fun because each day it's like a new challenge getting to pick out a different outfit for the locations I'm going to. I really wanted to spice up this look though so I'm gonna try to find some accessories to really add that extra oomph into the outfit. Okay. I know what we're gonna wear to spice up this outfit. I just bought this belt recently. It was only $8 and it's the sparkly belt. I'm a belt kind of girl because I feel like it's just that little touch that you can add to your outfit to really make it stand out. I think this would be perfect because it still goes with that New York City theme. And I think I have the perfect shoes to finish it off. I recently got these boots from Steve Madden. They're like my boots of the season. I think they will be the perfect thing just to tie this outfit all together. I started my day out shopping at Aritzia. Their clothes are such great quality and they're super versatile. I could get lost combing through the racks here forever. My strategy when shopping is to find a base of staple pieces and then add in those few pops of fun. Wait, look, this must mean I'm totally trending then. 
right across the street from Aritzia is Brandy Melville, so obviously I had to stop in and check out their new arrivals too. I love their cozy knits and sweaters that they sell because they're super soft and they're also really affordable. So I just picked out this little shirt to try because I feel like you can go with anything, especially a pair of like vintage jeans and a nice belt and some boots. It's just very much my style and simple, which I really like about it. On Broadway, on the same block as Brandy is Zara, so of course I had to make an homage to this video and do some shopping there also. Zara is constantly making designer-like items accessible, so it's totally my go-to store when shopping for trending pieces. Today I wanted to dress my trench coat a little funkier because I was going to the Whitney Museum. Why not go all out? I paired the trench with a metallic knife pleat skirt that's basically a work of art itself with a navy sweater, tights, and boots. The Andy Warhol exhibit is a must-see at the Whitney. Post Whitney, I only had to walk about half a block to go to Santina for dinner. This is probably one of my favorite restaurants in the city because it's 100% gluten free and I'm gluten free also so I really appreciate any restaurant that pays attention to it. Let's go inside and eat some dinner. It's 10.30 a.m. and I have an 11 o'clock class this morning at Pival, which is my favorite workout spot in the city. Basically, my simple workout uniform is just leggings and like a sports bra or a t-shirt, but it's kind of cold outside, so I just threw on this cropped white hoodie just to spice up this outfit a little bit. I threw on my champion fanny pack. I'm just gonna put on my leather trench and I think I'll be warm enough with it. I really wanna show you guys Pival. It's really cool and they just opened up a new studio, so let's go. The p studio is down in Soho, right on West Broadway. I've been doing p for over a year now, and it's become a staple in my workout regimen. The workout is all about small and functional movements that make a big impact. Tonight is going to be so fun. I'm headed to a launch party for a brand. To style the outfit, I decided let's spice it up, let's go crazy. So I took the trench coat and I made it a dress. And since I'm tall, the trench coat doesn't go down too far. So I put on tights and biker shorts, threw on a combat boot, and I'm good to go. Now let's go to the event and have some fun. Today's the last day that I'm wearing this trench coat for this challenge. I'm really sad it's coming to a close, but I am super excited about the outfit that I put together today. So this morning I'm headed to school, and usually when I go to school I like to dress pretty comfortably, but also stylish. I don't like to sacrifice my style in terms of comfort or sacrifice my comfort in terms of style. I think it's important to have a good balance. So today I'm wearing this really soft animal print sweater. It's cheetah, which is one of my favorite prints of the moment. And I'm also just wearing a pair of faux leather leggings that are ridiculously comfortable it doesn't even feel like you're wearing leggings it's like pajamas which is awesome and also I think I'm just gonna wear a pair of white sneakers I actually walk to school so I walk through Central Park on a daily basis so wearing sneakers just is the way to go for me in terms of style when going to school we're off for the day Walking to school is honestly my favorite time of day I just like to put a podcast in my ears and take in the sights and sounds of New York so I'm really sad the challenge is over, but we did complete a successful week of styling this trench coat a bunch of different ways. It was really fun and I learned a ton throughout this challenge because I was styling a piece of clothing every single day. So I had to wear it to a bunch of different places. I had to change it up. One of the most important things I learned is to be shopping sustainably and to be putting that extra thought when we're shopping. I think a lot of times as a society, we get caught up in the new and we see advertisements and we're just like, I need, I need, I want, but we forget what we actually have in our closet. So taking the time to actually Think about a piece of clothing before you buy it and you're like, what can I wear this with? How many different ways can I style it? And you'll get a lot more use out of the item, which does make it more sustainable when you're shopping because you're not buying as much. This was such a fun process, just being able to express my creativity and go out of the box. I'm definitely gonna do more stuff like this in the future and I think it's just a fun game to play too. If you have any other ideas, comment them below in the comments description. I love you guys and I'll see you back in my next video.